my son, it is your time. Hey what's going on guys it's the Mun from Movie Clicks. So today I have some news about Black Panther 2 and how Marvel will set up X-Men and Fantastic Four in MCU so let's take a look. Marvel can set up the MCU's X-Men and the Fantastic Four by introducing Doctor Doom and Storm in Black Panther 2. The introduction of either character would set up their respective franchises, but using both would allow for Marvel to pave the way for two of its most important teams to join the MCU in the span of just one movie. Thanks to the Fox-Disney deal that was finalized in early 2019, Marvel has regained the rights to two of its most important properties, the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. Since the early 2000s, all movies featuring Marvel's first family and Marvel's Merry Mutants were made by 20th Century Fox, and now Wolverine, Magneto, Cyclops, Human Torch, The Thing, and all the rest are under the same roof as the Avengers. This makes it possible for Marvel to start integrating these iconic heroes into the MCU. Exactly when Marvel plans to make use of the new additions to their library of characters hasn't been revealed, but a Fantastic Four movie was confirmed at SDCC 2019. Marvel could have plans for Fantastic Four and X-Men movies in Phase 5, but giving the two teams their own films right away may not be how they adapt them to the MCU. Instead, Marvel could build up to them by introducing one or two of the characters individually in an upcoming film. Black Panther 2 could be the perfect movie to make this happen, both for the Fantastic Four and the X-Men. Here's why and how the highly anticipated Black Panther sequel can set up both teams in the MCU. Despite living in two separate corners of the Marvel Universe, the King of Wakanda and the X-Men star Storm have been romantically linked in the comics for years. Storm aka Aurora Monroe was a princess of an African tribe who has known T'Challa since they were children. Long after growing into adulthood, the two started a romance and were even married for a time. Marvel could tell a version of this story by putting Storm in Black Panther 2. The relationship between T'Challa and African Princess Aurora Monroe could be a significant plot point in the MCU movie introducing a new character, a new nation, and more of T'Challa's backstory. A flashback could establish a history between them, and scenes in the present day story could explore them further as well and potentially dive into her mutant abilities as well. Aurora's tribe could be swept into whatever conflict Wakanda becomes embroiled in, forcing the two to team up. Black Panther 2 could end with Aurora deciding to make a name for herself as a hero and leaving Africa to forge her own destiny. This decision would open the door for her to be a member of the MCU's X-Men team. Doctor Doom could be the villain of Black Panther 2, even though Namor the Submariner is the heavy favorite for this role. However, the rumors about the Avenging Sun joining the MCU in Black Panther 2 could be false, and a Marvel villain who could be just as exciting as Namor is Doctor Doom. Victor Von Doom is known for being the archenemy of the Fantastic Four, but he's so much more than that in Marvel Comics, and the same should be true for the MCU adaptation of the character. As for how Doom would fit, it's possible that Doom, the dictator of his own country in the comics will set his sights on Wakanda. His reasons for wanting to invade Black Panther's homeland would be obvious Doom would want Wakanda's vibranium. This resource has a ton of uses that would serve Doom's evil goals. It's important to note that Doctor Doom being the main villain of Black Panther 2 would mean that his origin story happens before Fantastic Four. Even so, that doesn't have to stand in the way of him returning to menace the Fantastic Four in their own movie. Black Panther 2 could still leave room for some backstory with Doom and Reed Richards to be established later on. Furthermore, Doom being in Black Panther 2 doesn't mean Fantastic Four will have to use someone else as its primary antagonist. Similar to Loki, Doom shouldn't be limited to just one villainous role. As one of Marvel's biggest villains ever, Doom is a character that the MCU should hold on to for a long time. There isn't a movie on Marvel's schedule better suited to setting up the X-Men and the Fantastic Four than Black Panther 2, and the reasons for that go deeper than just Doom and Storm. There's also the hype surrounding the movie and its importance to the larger MCU. Black Panther, which broke several box office records, was a huge movie for Marvel that also helped set up Wakanda and Avengers Infinity War in fact, it may have even contributed in some degree to Infinity War's success. With that in mind, it feels right for Black Panther 2 to be integral to what comes next for the MCU. The movie is set to hit theaters in May 2022, which is generally the time when Marvel releases its biggest movie of the year. Strong background of Fantastic Four and X-Men connections could indeed make it 2022's most important Marvel film, above Captain Marvel 2, Thor Love and Thunder, and even Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Using both characters has some possible drawbacks. 
The X-Men and the Fantastic Four are sure to be two of Marvel's most important franchises going forward, so how they get introduced has to be handled with caution. Setting them up in a single film would be a risky move, as Marvel wouldn't want to overcrowd the movie or incidentally have one character overshadow the other. Marvel also can't put a storm in a movie with Doom and Black Panther just for the purpose of creating a path for the future. Making sure Black Panther 2 delivers a satisfactory story on its own should be Marvel's top priority. So unless Marvel finds a way to make the two of them fit perfectly, Marvel would be better off just introducing one or the other. After all, Black Panther 2 certainly isn't Marvel's only chance to make use of Doctor Doom and Storm. So that's all guys let me know your thoughts on this in comment. Check out one of our newest videos right here. And we are giving some Amazon voucher gift cards to the top supporters of our channel you all have to just subscribe our channel and comment on our video at the end to this week we will give Amazon voucher gift cards to the best supporter stay tuned with us so you will never miss single one I'm the Mun from MovieClicks.